holding them down a bit. Let's grab this before we lose out. <laughs> Is there a fancy sacrifice? Not really. No, 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 no. Could attack the bishop. Let's just bring it back. Speed does not impress me. This is a 30 minute game so I would prefer that they took the time over the moves and put some thought in because then there's no excuse about oh I moved too fast or I made a mistake. <laughs> looking for this magic square isn't it? don't have anything to attack his queen oh I do let's just bring the knight up I'm telling seriously I'm not impressed with moving fast they're not putting any major thought into it they're going for cheap moves ah dear me okay so let's just concentrate on my moves then let's just concentrate on ours I'm just hoping that they're all aggressive with no pants so I'm just going to attack here don't know what sort of saying that is but look at them just moving dead quick like they're not putting any thought into these moves it's ridiculous let's just take here look how fast they're playing they've accepted this game as a 30 minute game and I sound really nap don't I but <laughs> this is not acceptable oh dear with me crikey sake develop the bishop it looks all activated but they're not going to find the best positions playing like this let's get the old king to safety So it looks good they've got the pieces around the king area but what they're actually going to do with this once they've opened up our pawn because they're looking for the bishop to take queen takes queen takes pawn opens up but does it improve their position in any way they've got this bishop that's under attack so they need to move that first but they don't have to they can yeah so they've moved the bishop the one moment where they put a bit of thought into the situation we're, we're happy to just open this up so it's, it's going to take oh dear me eager beaver for trying to open up the king area so it's going to open up our king queen can come here king can hide behind our pawn does his queen have access down to the bottom no not really just take way too fast dude way too fast So he could go there but we can jump around <coughs> excuse me just make space attacking so the one piece the knight's protecting this square so and he's bringing the knight in to get a bit activated let's just bring the knight through attacking the queen so it's no big problems probably expect the queen to come down here let's 
So it's a big hoofy attack. It's aggressive. At the minute it's got pieces that can defend but our king can move quite easily over here. We do have space to squeeze in here. So I don't see there being a big issue. The bishop can probably attack the bishop there but the king can just move across a little bit. So we're going to have moments of getting checks, checks, checks put on us but <clears throat> I don't think it's putting them in the best position all because really the move moved really fast to try and get to this position of the answer they're trying to push the answer without any foundation i really do sound that because i believe this player probably could have found better positions if they'd taken the time especially the aggressive way that they they played and they know the position that they wanted but for some reason they were rushing to get there now they're taking the time but it to me it's a bit too late now because it's all set in stone in a sense the queen's coming down to put a check here my king is going to start moving across nice and safe virtually castling itself as it's making its way through yeah as we said so i don't know why that particular move took all that length of time especially when they moved so fast in all the other moves which weren't as obvious so he's gone for a sacrifice because he knows exactly <coughs> exactly what we've just said but now he's left his pieces under threat so we've got to check on his king as well so he takes a piece but we can take a, another major piece off and now our pieces are going to be guarded didn't expect him to do this type of move but he's given us this position and he put a lot of thought into that so that's a shame because he's he's losing a, a big piece so he's going to be down so we want to own this file oh i'm so upset damn if only players really would take the time this is why i've chosen a longer game so that i can get some practice in i don't want games that are just a bit not easy it's just uh, they've resigned you see i mean that's a shame is that okay i'm gonna find another one because um, i really want to test my skills and okay we're back on i think is this play gonna start yep okay it's 30 minutes zero increment nice long game steady away and let's uh, huff and puff through the center <laughs> it's going for a bit of a tame opening eh let's just grab this pawn okay so at least this player is taking the time makes me feel like I'm I'm in a proper game of chess don't have a problem with any of that simple capture <laughs> this could go either way and he brings his bishop there take with the queen maybe we don't want to double at this stage bishop can come to the center we're on the pawn here yeah let's just take with the queen why they shovel the pawns when we don't need to let's 
start a bit of an attack, maybe. Keep it simple. Does take with the queen. Still liking this. We could support here, like we said in the first place, but we could come here. It's, it's still a threat on the king. It's easily defended, obviously, because the knight can just come here and is attacking the pawn. Then he might just do a double attack on the pawn. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit anyway. player looks like he's actually won my bishop you know that's sneaky isn't it whoa <laughs> took the time as well oh that's a nice shot oh dear me but I don't think we lose it if we bring the knight here so if we bring the knight here we're protecting the bishop <laughs> <laughs> now you see if I was moving fast I'd have been panicking thinking I'd bring the knight there wow nice play this is the type of play I'm wanting get the old grey matter working so yeah we still had this so he's come back to protect and we could go on castle because his queen is opposite our king I'm actually castling just to get the basics out of the way so we could do the queen dance attacking this pawn here with the bishop could bring the queen here then it's attacking there but it's also attacking this pawn but we might be too late to the well no not really well no we are yeah because his rook can come and defend bishop can't really take the pawn because then the queen can take the bishop then our queen would have to take so we lose our tempo wise that way but we could still attack the pawn it's giving them something to think about. Maybe the pot rook does this or does that. Mm hmm. Now it's got this space we could put, just push this pawn here could up it to stop the knight from jumping although it still has this when it can t attack the bishop there oh i see i see i see i see rook being opposite the queen is a quite a nice touch it's just i've got this bishop stuck on the back is there anything i can do 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 going to bring the queen here for now while I'm thinking it might not be the best but I know I can't take here if he does queenside castle then we can take the pawn <clears throat> and if he doesn't then he's got something to think about maybe he pushes the pawn here oh we would just say him won't we if the queenside castle we can take the pawn <laughs> that's it's fallen into our lap a little bit well can we take it though? I don't know hold on I'm, I'm for, I feel like I'm for, uh, this is 
yeah the night's protected if we took does this queen come here attacking the knight but we do have nice pressure on this pawn it's nothing major is it I'm going to take I don't know what the problem is with that I've not looked deep enough I don't think but just following on from the fact that we could take this pawn when they queenside castles I'm feeling when it's a free pawn isn't it our bishop is well jammed in though so we've got to be careful of this maybe swing the knight here or maybe get it here well more towards their king side to release the bishop because our rooks are getting a little bit hemmed in he's got the same issue his bishop's not out his knight's not out he could do a morphe and attack our queen with his knight might be a bit stuck then actually mm -hmm. yeah if he goes there then I can't go here whoa what's going on So he's doing the don't care that you took on the pawn situation. Okay, well I'm thinking straight away just bringing, putting a check here. Condense the king over here a little bit. Maybe get the knight across. Probably won't get that far, but get the knight across. Open up the dark square bishop, hitting this pawn here. Get the queen activated on that side somehow let's do that could always defend with his knight didn't throw that into the equation but a check's a check isn't it it's a good enough check it's not a nugatory check so he has actually moved to the position that we said so are we going to be grandiose now and start moving the knight across like we said still I don't know why I'm liking this I'm liking this because of the aspect of this but he's got this knight here and I can't really bring the bishop here because his knight can take pawn can take I suppose the pawn would be on the knight then then we could go here but then he just has small pawn moves coming down <sighs> I feel like I need to open this bishop though could push on to the knight but then his knight takes the pawn but that gets rid of the knight then doesn't it but he can always go back yeah so now it's got this here we're always a bit worried about this knight having a fork aren't we as well and with, if we push this pawn then it's stopping the knight from doing that because if we did go here we can still because the knight's not really our knight's not threatening at anything straight away he could then come here if I, well the knight well the, cat, the knight can't go there yeah bishop would be trapped kind of thing i'd have to bring it back 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 hmm think he is going to put the check on oh but I can't do that I can't move the bishop back because he's on my queen as well oh dear. so I have to keep it on the line but then his knight can take and he's got a 2 on one yeah that doesn't look too promising to me let's just uh, move this pawn here stopping this knight this knight is protecting this pawn as well so oh my word let's forget moving this knight then eh? let's sort out our bed first all the possible attacking things that the opponent's going to be considering mm. yeah i was so focused on you know trying to get my pieces involved in there this bishop's not really in the game but i need to sort out the weak pieces first probably bring the rook here supporting this pawn but this knight is so loosely protected by the bishop 
so let's face it this is not ideal I don't think this is ideal for my attacking purposes it looks fine in the early senses but my pieces are jammed in he's owning this file with the rook we don't really like that so I may have to bring my knight across here but I need to protect this pawn first So I've used up all my thought processes now, I'm just going to wait for the opponent. We'll pause while they're thinking, which is a good thing. Oh. Nearly missed their move. So the rook is down. And as we know, rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board, unless of course it's to their advantage. Doesn't look too advantageous, but it's attacking my bishop. Doesn't like our bishop being there, so we've got places that we can put that bishop. I think we've already discussed these. So I have a coming back all the way here. Not going to come here. It does have a lovely outpost here. Pawn's not necessarily going to come down because we can take it. So coming all the way back, blocks the pawn here, gives him power to push down with this pawn onto the bishop. So probably the best move is here. So we've looked on that side, we can't go here, we can't go there, so there's no point in that. Could go here, but I don't think we win out in the exchange because the knight can take, then the pawn can take. Is the rook going to actually take? interesting but we don't have our rooks linked up so we can't go and then challenge the queen after all of that which is a shame yeah that's a damn shame yeah I would have brought I would have brought it here There's, I can bring it here as well but it seems to be not blocking the knight so if we did go here blocking my queen though isn't it really come in here come in there if we go here so I'm torn between these two now these are the two one is blocking my queen because then his knight can come here and he's attacking both of the pieces yeah so that's why that's not good so if he comes there then I'd have to move my queen here then his knight takes, then I suppose our knight can take what on his rook. What on his rook. His rook will have support from this pawn, so his rook can come over and attack our queen. So if he attacks our queen. Queen. Du, 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 du. We could come central here. Well, that's quite a lot of moves. That's more than four moves, isn't it? So, what was I thinking? Bringing the bishop here, his knight uh, comes and attacks. We we'll go here. Am I missing something? He's got this nice diagonal with his queen and stuff. This pawn is unprotected as well. Uh, it's making me wait. I think it's probably better just bringing the bishop here, you know. After all that. He comes there, he goes there. We go there. Maybe he takes. So he can't push through onto both because we can take the pawn. Do you know what? I'm going to. I don't know. I think going here is okay. I'm trying to get my pieces towards the king area out there using the answer. So let's stick with that format and see if it works for us. Maybe I'm going to rule the day I, I didn't go here. 
so we'll cover that in the analysis we'll analyze this game afterwards and see if that um, so the knight does drop like we said so he's following the, the pattern so far and I don't need to rush to go I still want to be opposite there king really don't I so I could go here like I said or go here so I'm still opposite and I'm attacking the knight he's going to take anyway so I suppose we can take the knight which then if we take the knight the queen is here we still got the center pawn and potentially we, we're on the rook anyway and the knight would be blocking this square as well so the rook can't come and attack so let's go here with the queen keeping in front of the king it's just annoying that's all yeah we had worked out going here but with the answer process let's just keep a virtual attack on the king try and get this knight involved attacking the rook might not work that way he might just push his pawn down on the queen smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong so then i have to jostle a bit might end up being in this position anyway so i have to be prepared for that sort of thing okay oh that'll do for my thinking on that side we'll pause while they're thinking it looks like we're in the deep think phase now this pressure well we're trying to instigate pressure towards their king and they're defending so they, they do capture okay so i'm quite happy almost falling into some sort of planish so we still got the pressure on the king area like i say you can, you can just draw a little pawn move here with, or a pawn move there it's nothing too major what's the horizontals for the queen nope that's not warm that's not warm that's warm so this is warm this is warm but I've got a discovered check so his rook can go anywhere so that's not warm so the only one is that or that ish it's always back here or there so one two three four spots from the pawn attack maybe there's no knight sacrifices the it's got to move his rook anyway so well, it doesn't have to but the knight will take but if he does a smaller piece attacking a higher piece i have to then move my piece so this is my this is me looking at my out areas this one obviously keeps me in front of the king so that might be probably the better one let's move the rook uh -huh. let's move the rook so our knight is protected by the queen this bishop could come out get some activation pawn can push because now his queen is on the pawn rook can come and defend the pawn small piece is being under threat he's going to get a piece for free so i may as well push this pawn onto his knight supported by our knight maybe he sacrifices his rook just to get the pawn come on bishop let's get out come on rooks i have this sneaky feeling my queen is gonna get squished <laughs> his pieces look like they're get, getting ready to um sorting me out so the knight has moved i need to get my pieces out did I, was I pointing to there already? Yeah, bishop coming out. So I think I need to just bring that out. 
now it's leaning onto this pawn here next to the king So now my rooks are linked at least, so potentially getting them into some sort of situation. His poor bishop is, oh, you know, I feel for him. I, I wanted to get my bishop out as well, you know, get my pieces off the back. I'm just feeling for this position he's got here. So he's probably going to want to, I was going to push here big or push here just to open up so that he's got a two on one on this pawn. In fact, he's got a two on one now. Luckily, I've got a 2 on 1 at the moment, but it looks a bit flimsy to me. Because he's got a 2 on 1 with his queen. He could bring his rook into the game to actually put like <coughs> loads on there. I suppose we can push the pawn up to support. <coughs> but it's all going to be a. My word! <coughs> it's all going to be a bit of a fest. Because he can always push his pawn down to weaken. Oh, it's not doing any of that. What, I don't know what that is. Queen moved down. Queen moved down. We're opposite here. My initial thoughts are just well, steady on bringing this knight across here and attacking the pawn. We all know the pawn's just going to drop down, but then if he drops down, his, knight, his rook gets taken. And we've got this type of situation as well attack towards the king area i thought it was going to play with this side i'm actually going to put the threat on so that's like a checkmate threat so that's a, a good check even though it is defendable because he can just drop but he does lose a higher piece if he does do that but it is a checkmate threat it's a, like a checkmate in one so something has to be done about it even if he goes here it's still checkmate so this pawn needs to move or he sacrifices his rook because the bishop will just take but then his knight can go in front so he's still defending the area so we may see something like that or he may just bring his knight in front that's probably even better for him brings his knight in front his knight's not really attacking anything so we can take the rook off the board so we'll be up the exchange if you like <clears throat> so it's going to get quite messy here now so there'll be sacrifices being thrown all over the place I'm going to take my time not reacting like a blitzy way and just uh, try and soak in the moment as best possible <clears throat> The pawns come down. So that makes that pretty simplified really because the knight just takes the rook with a check. The queen can't necessarily take back because then we get the queen for free. So I think the other the other alternatives might have been better, you know, either putting the knight here was well maybe not because the rook was still gonna get taken. Okay, so the king's king has moved he's not gone for the exchange so the knight could come here it's got options of doing some stuff or come here attacking the queen oh, which one is best okay so that's the initial knee jerk reaction could go there but is that too slow oh no I'll lose the knight because <laughs> the queen will just take the knight the bishop doesn't have any other attacks, no sacrifice per se. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Forwards or backwards? If we go here, I'm plumping want more for this one. Because then the queen can squeeze here and maybe go to here if nothing's done. The bishop, queen's not just going to sit there and wear it, is it? It's going to probably come here. But if they go there, then our queen can go. Oh, that's checkmate, isn't it? If we go here, oh, that's checkmate. We go here. If his queen goes there to attack, then our queen comes in here, and the 
knight is guarding this square or maybe it's not checkmate because then the king can go here well it's still checkmate because then the queen comes here yeah so we followed that through there's no guarantees you don't have to go and attack the um knight it could just come here just preventing our queen from going into here but what do we do then if he goes there then can we not go here looking to try and get here or if, it, if his queen goes there we probably bring a rook maybe to face the queen off well there's options there's options okay let's just um, take a pause while they're thinking oh and they've gone with the queen up to the top so that was the move where it's going to be checkmate as far as I could see from our calculation well not checkmate immediately it'll be checkmate in two moves because it's going to be check and then it moves and then we, we just go here wow that was a nice calculating game <clears throat> I've got to thank the player for taking the time this felt like a nice long game although we seemed to get here quickly we, we, there was no rush and the calculation side of things worked out a treat for us I need to go back to that bishop move though you know when it was up here either because we have the option of bringing it down or something was it here actually bringing it down or sitting on our outpost here yeah so it was here wasn't it so I just want to see if that was the better one it felt better because it was going towards the king area then the knight had the option of taking taking and we ended up in this position but I just want to have a look what the computer thinks of that because it did block in our queen Okay, we'll go for a pause I don't there there's not much else that the opponent can actually do here so maybe I won't pause I'll just uh, do a bit of monologuing yeah so not to forget have a look at this bishop maneuver I think I was fairly okay with the rest of the moves also the fact of these you know my knight and my bishop being a bit locked in in the early part so they've actually resigned so good game Okay, nice one okay just reviewing the last game because uh, it was quite interesting for myself and a few points that I wanted to have a look at especially like the jammed in knight and bishop that I left there for a while the bishop position that was up here at, ended up being up here and the choice as to whether to move it down here or to bring it across there so those are the two key things that I want to look at really so pushing through the center seems okay bishop comes down attacks grabbing the pawn is alright and it doesn't mind well, it's, it's hovering between it doesn't mind actually doubling the pawns up I mean I don't have an issue doubling the pawns up either uh, but I just thought I wanted to play a clean game so the queen taking seems okay right so we have options bringing the bishop out or bringing the knight out so then that would unjam them so we didn't do that you know because i was a bit worried that my pieces hadn't been developed really realistically i was but then also i was worried that my king side is not going to get castled if i'm doing too much dancing around so that's why we brought the bishop out doesn't seem to have impacted us that much really in terms of evaluation because we were looking at like if they forget themselves then we get a quick check on the king get a pawn off the board it can happen yeah, but then they put a check on us and for a brief moment they thought whoa, whoa, whoa they, they've got our bishop but then putting the fort in obviously develops the knight but not in the best way because it's blocking the bishop okay but it's still showing us as really quite high here so the position wasn't too bad because obviously the opponent hasn't developed their pieces either 
and they've moved their queen twice haven't they captured and then they moved the same piece twice so this is causing them a lack of tempo in developing their pieces whereas we've developed three pieces now so we shouldn't be too concerned too, too bent out of shape over that i suppose i think we dealt with what we needed to deal with uh, yeah okay yeah queen coming here attacking the pawn probably would have been better because the knight the rook is jammed in yeah we didn't play that though did we no we cast all king safety again makes sense for me keeping the king safe but it's nice to know yeah probably would have lost tempo in my head losing tempo the queen is right in front of my king you know not that they could do anything majorly but i'd rather get my king safe than dance the queen around okay so now the queen can come across so i think we probably did that thing but yes we did yeah and we did say that uh, if the king queenside castles we could take the pawn here and it fell into our lap but the computer does not like it's not even suggesting that it's not suggesting coming here oh probably doesn't like our move then let's go Ooh, dropped it plus three down to 1.4 still an advantage but it doesn't like that capture it's saying the knight move here yes well we did mention that we were concerned about this knight being able to come to any of these squares so potentially probably should have pushed maybe this pawn up earlier but they didn't take the advantage did they no they developed their knight out so we weren't missing too much but then there was this pressure on this pawn which i felt maybe the opponent could have taken a bit more advantage of so we put a check on the king did it suggest any of that no it didn't suggest it suggesting this knight move here so basically it's giving up the pawn and we were talking about getting the knight here so that we could open up the bishop but because of this pawn we were going to have to like defend the pawn before and either bringing this here maybe pushing this pawn or defending the pawn somehow you know either bringing the bishop back something yeah so we were concerned about this pawn but the computer is not interested in protecting that looks like it wants to really open up the dark square bishop interesting times so we brought the bishop back putting a check on with winning a tempo our focal point was on this area here got the queen in front and they actually went for that so that was okay it seemed to be falling into our plan of sorts and that's when we yes we played that move to stop the knight because it was now looking a bit funky with a fork on the queen and the bishop and the rook comes down what's it saying yeah the knight attacking the queen probably better and this was the decision now it's actually saying just go here okay it's plus 2.8 well we didn't do that did we we went there it's plus 2.4 so i suppose it's not that bad it's not a big drop you know it's not gone to minus or it's not gone to zero so i think we worked that out okay we looked at the possibilities of this coming here yeah so that was one of my the key areas obviously we could have could have developed out these pieces earlier Just don't like them in this position really at all it doesn't look good i know the eval bar saying were advantageous but for my own personal playing sort of system and style for myself that wasn't that was a bit clunky but good game cheers shift Excuse me. Just bring this 
baby back. It's gonna take here, uh, yep. nice and steady away got plenty of time in this one it's got no increment on it but it's still long enough to take our time with some of the moves these quick gains they're just uh, <laughs> they're very special and here we go big attack coming in on the king let's just put a little bit of a check on the old king Garuda here Very aggressive movement. Queen exchange, maybe. Don't mind if I do, sir. Oh, disheveled the king. <laughs> At what cost? Let's have a look. Not much cost. I'm probably losing this rook here. It's got a discover check with the knight. So the, oh, I thought the knight was going to bounce and just uh, sacri sacrifice itself, if you know what I mean. I think the knight can still bounce there if he could just take the pawn because he's got to check on my king then his bishop wins the rook so kind of winning that tempo in a sense probably should have gone on castle but hey what can you do got to practice the unusual stuff So knight taking, I can see that straight off coming, so what do we do? Still not going for it, I'm quite surprised at that actually. Quite surprised at that. Mm -hmm. Let's just bring this knight out here. There's nothing I can do about that situation really. Maybe I could have removed my rook here. But then I'm blocking the bishop. I don't know. I'm playing a scatty game here. It's very scatty. But you can make scatty your friends sometimes. Not all the time. Sometimes. I take. Still not going for that. I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised. I don't know what's happening there. So we'll take the. Uh, did he forget? Oh well, he's the master of tactics. So I'm not. I'm assuming for a second he's made a mistake here. So I'll just hold my breath and wait to see what damage is coming through. On the face of it, it's looking like he may have forgotten that the knight was there. He's going to attack here. That's a nice position. If he forgets himself, but it's, he wouldn't usually forget himself. Not like that. Something went strange there. I'm I'm a bit dubious. Yes, yeah, so he's come. Ah, so he gets the rook anyway. You know, after all that. So we did say we could always push the pawn up though and block him off. We've got the knight here and there for a moment. I did say this this rook was going. Let's go with the knight as well. Hmm. 
He's left them rooks at the top, you know. <sighs> I could get one of the rooks. But then he's just taking a piece of mine, hasn't he? To take it and uh, those rooks look so tasty. See, we're a minor piece up here, that's a bit surreal. Our king's a little bit short, but it's trying to get malar pressures coming on. So we don't want the rook taken, do we? Let's get this bishop into the action, defend it. We're not doing anything major at all. I think he's allowed us a little bit of leeway there, I think. We'll just capture here, uh, yeah. So we're on two, three. Oh, no, he's given up now. He's, no, he's playing silly buggers now. That ain't right. <laughs> That's not right. And I don't even think it's funny. <laughs> I'm not even playing now. <laughs> I'm not playing now. Oh dear. No, I'm going to resign. I'm going to resign. <laughs> if he gives up the bishop now. Oh, he's giving up the rook. Man. <laughs> Dear me. Let's see where it's going. Um, I don't really want to take that one. He's too drunk. I knew he was doing something. <laughs> Messing my recording up. <laughs> oh dear me. So it's come down. Knights come. So the four knights are out. So that keeps that nice and simple. Um, I'm deciding what to do because even though he might be drunk or whatever it is, he still will come out with some special moves. Let's go here. <laughs> Okay, so he captures, so he might start playing a bit properly now that I've said that he's messing my record. Look, we'll never know. We'll never know. Okay, bishop's out. Bishop is out. We could just take the knight that he's going to take with the pawn. Um, we want to get castled, really, but things seem to have happened a little bit quick. Let's bring the queen up, get, get this into the game. It's castled. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to be doing. Let's get this bishop up. I think we need to be doing. I never get overconfident playing. I mean, at the minute it's all it's five three now. I'm looking to try and close that gap. You see, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. So. <laughs> Let me just grab here. You can see I'm being very steady with my moves. I'm thinking of each stage nice and steady away. We have to get our king to safety. Let's not get it squished. It 
seen this quite a bit, you know, with the pawn coming supporting the bishop on this side here. I don't really know what I think of it, really. It's one of those. I'm just going to do the pin thing. Pin onto the queen, it's a bit annoying. This pawn doesn't have any protection, but I'm not going to chase it down unless, of course, it's there when I play it. Uh, ooh, interesting. So, if it gets rid of our knight, then we've only got one piece supporting this pawn. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Could bring the bishop to support, push the pawn to support, but then the dark square diagonal is a bit lethal for his bishop. Bring queen here, looking for that. Don't think that works though, does it? Because the knight just jumps here. Push on to the bishop, see what he wants to do. But then he takes, like we say, then he wins the pawn. Do we bring the bishop here for the two? Two protecting, or is there a problem with that? Um, I feel like there's going to be something wrong with bringing this here. But I'm going for it anyway because I can't see anything else. Maybe I could have brought the queen there, but then I've still got the two, you see. And the knight is potentially going because the bishop will take. So if I brought the queen here, what would be the benefit? Then the pawn takes and his knight can... Mind you, the bishop is still on his queen. <sighs> so I could have brought the queen there. I could have brought the queen there. Is there anything wrong with this? I don't think. I mean, we've got like a diagonal through, x ray through to the rook. This pawn's got no protection. And is. Oh, for crying out loud. Man. Gets my rook for free. Dear me. Now that's shabby. I should have thought of that. That's why I should have moved the queen here, I think. Oh, I was worried about the knight being able to take the ball, but then the bishop would take the queen. Oh, la 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 la. Well, that's a horse of a different colour. Told you. Don't matter if he's drinking or not. Crikey. Nice shot, nice shot. Okay, we'll just keep plodding on, keep plodding on. Let's see what we can um, create out of this situation. Let's just take this now. So, we want to. Oh, he's moving fast now. He's moving fast because he believes he's on a winner. And we've got to start out to like say, well, no, you're not on a winner. We've got good position somewhere. Could push here then where Bishop has got both his rooks if he takes. Small potatoes, but we were eyeing this pawn up anyway. But looking at that lovely diagonal, that's got both of them. But now he's taking his time, so he's not going to... But his queen has to move, so in any event, we should be able to get one of them. So his queen is not going to go a white square. Unless he takes the bishop. <laughs> oh, you see, this is not funny. This isn't funny. We're on to we're on to gold there. Now we've not got any gold. We've got silver. 
Ah, shabby times, shabby times. What have we got now? So bishops covering that area here. We've only got one rook. Bishops looking to. He should probably just take this knight off the board now, so because he's got like the two rook situation. But if he does that, we take his rook. But then he's on our queen, so we will lose out anyway. Ah, oh, dear we me, the tables have turned so quick in this game. It's plus two. Where do we have? What do we have? Can't even bring the rook out because he's got his rook there. Let's go for the long think again. We don't even get the rook. No compensation whatsoever. Just a measly pawn. Eee, just move, 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 move. Get some activity going. Probably not going to let our knight survive. Put it bouncing here, bouncing there. Not too sure about coming this side, so. Oh, triple dose attack. Triple dose attack. But he's going to lose his queen or his rook, so it depends on which one he wants to lose. Give us the rook. Well, he's not losing it, he's getting a piece back for it. It's just that I think we might be equalising the balance a bit, because he's got the two rooks, or oh, had. If he finds a magical way of saving himself from this, man, I tell you, I want what he's drinking. Looks like a bit of a scrap, this one. think again damn and the queen just goes and takes something off the board my life can't do a move without actually devastating something can I crikey so let's grab here what's the position looking like we have pieces facing towards his king that's a plus isn't it taking pawns for free well <laughs> if I can help it he's plus one still hey word nice square here if we could get the rook there get his rook off the board type situation Is there a way of getting rid of his queen? Not just yet, because his rook is there. Oh, he's going for my queen. <laughs> oh dear of me. With the same same thought process of getting rid of the queens. Yeah, what if I don't want to get rid of his queen? Eh? I might not want to do that. I might want to go over here. To attack this pawn. But then if I do that, he does have this but we've got the rook there at the minute but then if we did that his rook could just come down here challenging our rook yeah that wouldn't work so we have to take it off the board <laughs> Bear with me. so it's plus one now we need to just box clever here now we need to use some science end game mentality people don't like end games like these just bring this back here nobody likes end games like these you know where you have to try and piece pieces together he's plus one so he's got the advantage so he's actually winning and if he supports this pawn he can push down onto our bishop and then this rook can come down oh the king is moving The 
king is moving let's just attack this lowly bishop here it's got no protection on it you can see it going here oh it's not actually mm -hmm. well what do we do with this situation then just keep harassing him a little bit further increasing our rooks oh he can't leave that there though He can't leave that there for this reason, but he can go here. So we need to find a way of just being patient. We know that we can put that on him. Ah, he's <laughs> can you hear me? I hope he can't hear my recording. That that won't be right. I hope it's not too way. Hmm. Okay, so he moved a bit swift there. Moves a bit swift there, he wants this pawn, does he? Let's go eventually. Mm. <laughs> mm. About just locking this down a bit. This rook's just going to come down, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit tricky. So let's just push this up. Nobody likes these sort of endings. I know I don't. I'm trying to like them. Oh, it's kings further down the board than mine. We need to sort that out. We need to sort that out now. If I bring it here, am I causing myself trouble? Because where, where is my king really going if I go there? If I attack the pawns, it just locks down. Can't go here because his bishop's got there. Uh, rooks have no place in the center of the board, so let's just bring this baby back, keep it basic. Might be throwing this pawn up, I think. Choice between that and that. Rooks have no place in the centre of the board. That's a key thing from our mantra. And he's put his king, Rook, in the centre of the board. So all I know what he's trying to do is trying to get it to block my Rook from attacking his king. So we're going to attack the king. So his pawn drops down, he can protect. I think. I'm not sure. So his king's gone far into the little corner. I don't know where it thinks it's going. Don't know where it thinks it's going. Um, comes down here. We have a check. Down. He comes down here. He's got a check on the pawn. Hmm, interesting situation. Mm -hmm. Ah, but then we could trap it. Or we'll trap it if <laughs> it's on the wrong side of the board. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like the knight traps and I like the um, bishop traps, or blocks rather. It's tempting to go here, we'll just bring this back. He's gone for a different tack, but it's the same sort of principle. Let's see if he wants to exchange. <laughs> it's probably going to go up and down now, saying it's a draw, but realistically, he's got a pawn extra, so he's not the type of player to go have a pawn up and would go for a draw. No, he's not going to do that. Coming round, he wanted to come round the back to get this pawn rather than get trapped. So he may decide to go back here. 
to see whether or not I do do that or not. I'm feeling a bit hoarse now, I've done quite a bit of recordings today. Oh, he's gone for the check. No, would you? I don't believe it. I would never have taken him for a person going for a check here like this. And he's gone there. <laughs> he's gone to the spot. <laughs> oh, let's be loud. Oh, dear me. So we'll just bring it here casually as you like. Boom. <laughs> he's locked in now. He's not going to like that. Oh, what's all this about? Oh, what's all this about? A bit tasty with that one, wasn't he? I didn't actually see that one. In fact, I mentioned that earlier on, didn't I? So now he's got power porn. Okay. So he's moving quick now, like it's a blitz match. He's still one plus one up. Still plus one up. Let's see if we can get this baby off the board. I don't think he's interested, but he's plus one, so he may. This centre pawn here is looking quite nice, looking tasty, it's looking ready to be pushed forward. That was funny. Damn, I forgot all about that pawn there. I was quite cocky that the bishop was just coming back and it's just going to lock him in. Time wise, 13 minutes, so it's not too bad. It's getting close to the end now. He's not wanting to give anything up. It's an interesting situation. I'm just going to move a bit quicker. I was just playing some bullet matches and I didn't do too bad in the bullet matches. I can't stand bullet. But I seem to be a bit relaxed in the game so i um, got a few advantages. So I'm quite impressed with myself. Whoop, whoop. Not saying I'm going to do bullet now but just in case. It does have one pawn above me, so I could go for a draw. <laughs> you know he's bringing it here. Because he's not wanting a draw. He's going to want this pawn to come down. In fact, he could push it now, couldn't he, anyway, this pawn? Because I can't take. Because his king will just take. I'm hmm, surprised we didn't see that. Okay. I can't say I'm surprised because he sees stuff in a different way to how I see things. A totally different way. His chess is totally different. The concept is the same in terms of he's like very aggressive with his attacking sort of formation, but the way that we go about it, we're, we're two totally different um, cats. I'm, I like to jump for more of a positional type of thing um, and he's very much a, uh, oh no we're going for it are we? <laughs> it's going to end up being a draw isn't it? <laughs> um, it can't do because he's got that centre ball and he's not going to want that he's going to want to push that down somehow forgot what I was saying now styles it's going back up I think it's time to start moving a few pawns let's just slide this pawn up here maybe, maybe could get maybe a touch there mind you I don't want this king coming down closing down my king Gary and this bishop's been sat there for the best part of the latter part of the game it's like it's waiting to cause some havoc it's because he's basically looking for this isn't he you know to get my king because he's got the bishop there so he might have to change his tack real his tack come round and get my bishop but my bishop's got this there, nice little outpost here so i can envisage these pawns starting to move down and he's going to save that in his back pocket till the very end
and he's back down again fighting for that spot that very same spot we just talked about and we can't be wearing them apples and he's lost his rook that's a stroke of luck and I'm taking it that's a stroke of luck Oof, tight, 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 tight. Yes, in these type of end games, it just takes one, one mistake, one smallest of moves that you don't even realise is the, a bad move in these sort of positions. Whoop. Okay. Right. Um. I will pause that.